Every solid waste entity deals with the same problems, litter control, vermin, rising operational expenses, and ever-diminishing space in their landfills. Not every facility meets those challenges in the same way. The Solid Waste Division of St. Lucie County in Florida was determined to find long-term, cost-effective solutions. The fundamental answer to many of these problems, they found, was bailing of municipal solid waste, a trend that is gaining significant ground in the industry. Mr. Leo Cordero, Solid Waste Manager for St. Lucie County Solid Waste Authority. During our inv investigation as to whether or not we should consider bailing garbage instead of a traditional way, um, it didn't take very long at all to to come up with just the opposite question why aren't people doing it I mean when you look at when you look at the benefits of it it was so obvious that what we're doing is, is just Neanderthal there's no there's no comparison there's no there's no reason not to do it we have 1100 the best we've been able to do is 1149 pounds of garbage in every cubic yard of airspace and then when we look at bailing and bailing can do it close to 2,000, 1,800 to 2,000, and you reduce cover, and you reduce litter, and you reduce leachate, uh, you, you got to ask yourself again, why am I not doing this? Has the Sierra Total Solution Design been effective? In 1989, the comprehensive plan for this landfill predicted that in the year 2002, we would be full uh, through, through good management practices and, and our consulting engineers helping us do the, the, the right thing, we've extended that to the year 2020. When, when you add the bailing to it versus conventional landfills, you add another 20 years. We're looking at 40 years life. I mean, you can just imagine going to the doctor and the doctor telling you, I've given you 20 more years to live. It's a, it's a real win-win. Here in St. Lucie County, the, the bailing process is going to save us over a quarter of a million dollars a year in operations costs because the compactors that we schedule in the budget every three years are three hundred eighty thousand dollars a piece then you've got that operator that you're going to spend forty to fifty thousand a year with benefits to have him operating that thing diesel fuel of sixty gallons per day the biggest savings is in daily cover material the operators from the waste companies are in the landfill 80% less time because they don't drive the one mile up the hill to get onto the hill. They drive an eighth of a mile and go onto the tipping floor, dump their load, and they're gone. And in addition, the residents don't see all of the birds or the blowing litter on adjacent highways like I-95 and Florida's Turnpike. That problem is solved with bailing. Here's how an innovative MSW operation in Salt Lake City, Utah, sets the pace in their market by utilizing the perfect blend of technology and expertise furnished by Sierra International. Here in Salt Lake, there was no recycling available. So we decided to get into it so we could start recycling municipal solid waste. The waste dropped off is conveyed up to a picking line. Here, the recyclable materials are removed, creating yet another revenue stream. Because we do recycle all the waste that we handle, every uh, truckload that's brought in is, is passed down our, our picking line before it goes into the baler. We, we believe that we are able to recycle so much material from waste that has been going uh, directly to the landfill. By putting in the picking lines and taking out you know, the cardboard and the metal, the paper, the plastic, the various things that we recycle, and the wood especially, uh, it just has created a reduction in the waste stream, uh, again, that's very significant. Waste comes at you every single day, and you have to clear it off your floor every day, which means that you cannot afford to have any chinks in the system from coming in the door to processing the waste to transporting the waste to the landfill and to landfilling the waste. Utah allows us to have 129,000 payload on our trucks, and we couldn't do that without bailing the waste. And so uh, after looking at the various options, uh, we decided to go for bailing for a couple reasons. One was to get that payload. Second was all is we liked the density of the bales that are landfilled, so we didn't have to keep compacting the waste. The Monmouth County, New Jersey plant is one of the largest MSW bailing facilities in North America. 
Sierra International Machinery retrofitted this facility with four MacPress Model 112 solid waste balers. Trucks transporting bales to the landfill are first weighed. Then bales are removed by wheeled loaders with special clamps made by CAT for bale fill operations. Two bales are removed at the same time. This facility enjoys several benefits from this method of disposal. They are increased landfill life and greater density in the landfill. Reduced operating costs as compared with traditional landfills. Reduction of birds and other vermin. Wind control problems are greatly reduced. Reduction of odor control problems.